Good morning. Welcome to this weather update. Um, very bad air quality across the area today once again. Uh, this was yesterday around 6 o'clock, around 6.30, looking at the sun. Um, and uh, it really just, the air quality was terrible uh, yesterday. We have west winds. Uh, but the main thing is we've got this smoke in the air that's traveling all the way from British Columbia and the west coast. That's encompassing the whole country. A lot of it's in the upper levels, but some of it's down here. And then we also have this dust from the Sahara, too. So we have two things that are making really bad air quality and making a bad situation that much worse. So let's now take a look and see what we have in store and what is going on. So, as you can see, America is choking in smoke. And um, this is what the current conditions are here at the Air Now site. And it's 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 pretty bad uh, across the entire country. Uh, clean air is really hard to be found. Uh, you can see all these fires that are. You can see all these little symbols here. All the fires that are burning uh, all throughout the British Columbia, the West Coast. It's 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 just a nightmare, is what it is. It's a nightmare. So um, let's go ahead. Let's look at our local air quality conditions and let's see we have so we have moderate air pollution today uh, and uh, that's the current conditions but we're gonna go to orange on healthy for sensitive groups and I can tell you right now I'm seeing effects of the smoke on my own health uh, the past today in particular I'm having some trouble breathing raspy throat um, lots of sneezing uh, this is all due to very poor air quality in our area as well as pollen so we are now at the MODIS site looking at the satellite image from yesterday, August 15th. And you can see uh, that we have a lot of smoke all around. And I'm going to start off over here um, and just look at this huge pall of smoke that is uh, covering, it's got spreading in the Manitoba province, Edmonton, Calgary. Um, the skies are just orange there. It's, it's unbelievable. I'm going to show you that. Uh, and uh, it's it's crazy and uh, Seattle too everybody is just uh, this smoke is look at how thick that is that is really thick smoke that blocks the Sun that's how thick it is all right and look at that you're talking what is this a thousand miles here and it's spreading all the way into it looks like there's some fires over here too that have developed now uh, it, it's ridiculous it, it, it's just ridiculous so we follow the smoke eastward and uh, you'll see here uh, that we have smoke also over the Great Lakes and in our area too if you look closely you know why it was so hazy today there's the smoke you can see it I don't know if you can see it but we can you can sort of see it uh, trust me it was there especially in the afternoon uh, very poor air quality today. No sea breeze. Wind's coming from the west. Uh, actually, I want to put these place labels here. I'll make things a little easier to show you where everything is with the, in regards to the smoke. Um, this smoke thing is just unbelievable. Um, and again, this was from yesterday. But again, I want to go back just to show you the progression uh, of the smoke. So yesterday was the 14th. Look at all, yeah, look at all that. Look at that huge cloud of smoke. Yesterday was the 14th. 13th 12th look at how far look at look at this look at the, look at on the, look at it on the 12th look at that that's insane 11th it's again you can see how just how this smoke has been affecting us for a while now um because we're going back to the 10th there it is, still there. Look at it on the tenth, the ninth. You could really get a close view of all these fires burning here on the ninth. This is when they started. This is when they really started getting out of control. The, believe it or not, as bad as the California fires are, these ones in British Columbia are putting out even more smoke, and they're just completely out of control. So again, there is the smoke from the eighth. Uh, you get the idea. All right, let's go back up to the 15th, all right, because uh, we want to talk about this smoke here. That's actually, you can see, it has made it all the way into post-tropical storm Ernesto. Look at that. There's the smoke. 
There it is, and it's on its way to Europe. Crazy. We're actually going to look at some Twitter uh, posts of this uh, haze. This is Edmonton, Canada. Take a look at out. This is the broad daylight. Look at that orange sky. It's so dark, it's so thick that the street lights stay on. That is crazy. That is crazy. I've never seen anything like this. And uh, you could already see, uh, even in eastern Colorado, you could see a little haze from the smoke, all right? There's haze there. Seattle's getting blanketed by unhealthy smoke haze, very thick. Um, really bad air quality all around. Uh, accompanied with heat, too. Uh, and uh, this is really just affecting so many people across North America right now. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's absolutely crazy. Um, this is what's going on. It, 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 it's absolutely crazy. Smoke at the glaciers. You know this is going to cause the glaciers to melt. Um, Oregon and Canada. So the whole country is being affected by uh, these fires. Uh, and it's just really just here's one more picture I'll show you Calgary look at that that's the Sun that is crazy now I actually want to take a look at a couple of webcam loops here um, from various sites to show you this smoke uh, that is uh, uh, spread actually all the way over here uh, and we're experiencing extremely bad air quality uh, as a result of that, you can see the haze. You can see it in the air. We'll go over that. All right, let's look at this one here. This is Beaver Island, Michigan. You can see the haze in the air. It's gross. It's gross. You can't breathe. It's it's horrible. I just wish people would be alarmed about what we're seeing in the air because this is not normal to have this kind of haze around. This is this is disgusting. So everybody is suffering with it. Um, it's it's a real problem. As you saw at the map in the toward the beginning of this video, you could see that the smoke is a real problem. You could see it on the horizon there. It's it's spreading across the entire country, and it may, like I said, eventually go around the world. And here's a webcam from Harry St. Pierre, Canada. And you can see the sun coming up and all that haze there. And that's all from the smoke, because you could all see it on the sad light. It's disgusting. It really is. These fires are... This is like a, 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 a almost a global crisis here. And the news is not talking about it. And here's a look at the Hamptons.com camera at Main Beach in East Hampton, I think. Uh, and uh, you can see just the very poor air quality uh, that's that we're dealing with here. Uh, it's very murky, very poor air quality, uh, and no sea breeze. So uh, we're going to be dealing with the heat again today. So let's take a look at this infrared satellite, and you can see um, we have some high clouds around. This doesn't really show up the smoke very well, um, but you can see. Um, generally are not in clear air. Um, it looks like there's clear air to the north, but again, there's smoke up there uh, that, uh, that, that this infrared satellite does not pick up on. Okay, so um, this is a look at the dust in the air. And uh, you can see that we're still also dealing with dust from the Sahara. So um, you see all this dust and sand that is blowing off Africa, and look at that. You can see a lot of it right over here in the eastern part of the country. It's literally all over the country. So not only are we dealing with wildfire smoke, but we're also dealing with dust and, and sand in the air from the Sahara. So it's also leading toward bad air quality. Okay, I also want to look at this, and this is a map of carbon monoxide emissions. And you can also see where the smoke is, and there's a lot of it over it. Let me get it in a little further here, a little closer here. Um, you can see there's a lot of it over you can see the smoke here, over here, and over our area, too. So we're dealing with really bad air quality. That's, that's the point I'm trying to get across to you in this weather update. 
and it's not just the heat but we're dealing with extremely bad air quality which makes it difficult for people to breathe because we have all these pollutants in the air so uh, we're gonna look at the Ventus Sky site and you can see here uh, that westerly flow that's killing us uh, right now and um, it was a brutal day I mean it was in the upper 80s here on Long Island close to 90 everywhere with no sea breeze and extremely bad air quality and um, if we go ahead and look at uh, our forecast, we're going to change the time here. We'll move this forward toward the afternoon, 1 o'clock. You'll see we got this westerly flow, and we are hot, as you can see here, well into the 80s. Uh, and a west wind with no sea breeze. So you're getting the air off the land with all the pollution, and uh, you're dealing with some pretty bad air quality. Let's go into 3 o'clock now in the afternoon, and still no sea breeze, 90 degrees pretty much everywhere maybe except right along the immediate south shore so we have no sea breeze and that's why we're dying uh, and uh, the, 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 you know this this pattern uh, of not having a sea breeze is really bad uh, for us the thing is the humidity is slightly lower but not by much if we go ahead and we look at the dew point you'll see uh, that dew points won't be all that low so we'll put it at one o'clock here so dew points in the upper 60s. It's still going to make it feel like it's in the mid 90s when you add the heat index in there. All right, so it's 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 pretty bad. All right, and um, if we go when we look at the um, temperature again, you'll see again it's it's going to stay pretty brutal over us. So. Uh, even when we were going eight, we're still dealing with this westerly flow. Maybe it starts to pick up a little more. It starts to cool it off a little more. Well, you know, but we're going to be dealing with bad air quality today, um, heat, and you know not, some humidity. That's going to make it feel like it's in the mid 90s. So it's not going to be a great day to be outside once again. It's going to be brutal, you know, everywhere because you got that wind coming off Jersey, and that just makes us die here. All right. Um, so. I'm going to move it over to Friday just to show you. There will be a difference for tomorrow. You'll see tomorrow will be better. Uh, because tomorrow we're going to have a much stronger wind flow from the south. So we should have the air coming in a little more off the ocean. And that should provide more relief for Long Island. The temperatures in the low 80s. With that though comes thunderstorms, thunderstorm threats and more humidity. Uh, so uh, that's the thing with that. So... Um, we're going to go ahead and look at the computer, uh, look at the models now, which are working again, uh, and uh, you know, take a look and see if we get out of this, if we can breathe again. It would be nice to breathe, you know, to breathe clean air and see blue skies. You know, it would be nice. All right, so let's take a look at the models here, and yes, the model site is back to working properly again, so that's very good news. All right, so you can see that ridge, that ridge from hell, uh, as we go for Thursday. It's today Friday the ridge from hell kind of starts relenting a little bit uh, but uh, we might get get some high pressure building in and some cooler air for Sunday into Monday um, whether we'll not I, I can't tell you if we're going to be dealing with smoke or not that's impossible to tell at this point uh, we may very well be dealing with it and then uh, we have another high pressure trying to move build in and it looks like maybe a possibly a nice day on Thursday so possibly looks like a pattern shift but guess what happens when we get to the end of the period the ridge from hell tries to build back again um, so it's it's very hard to get rid of this ridge uh, it's been with us for well over a month now and this ridge is responsible for all the misery everybody is going through between the storms humidity and floods in the east to the dry uh, hot heat and fires in the west uh, that ridge is responsible for basically creating a log jam in the atmosphere. And that's, again, because the jet stream is not working properly. Uh, let's take a look at dew points. See what the GFS does with the dew points here. Uh, do we see relief from the high dew points? You can see all the high dew points across the whole east here uh, on this model here. Uh, do they relent? Do we see a relent? Yes, we do. Into Sunday, you could see some drier air trying to make its way in from the northeast into can in in from uh, in from the north and northeast into our area just you see it's trying to get in uh, but the, eventually the humidity comes right back at us again later in the week 
uh, but it looks like another push tries to come in for Thursday and then the ridge tries to build back again you can see the ridge builds back again so it's very hard to get rid of this ridge basically is this is the problem that we're dealing with here this ridge has been in place now uh, it could be in place like I said it's gonna be in place the rest of the summer like I said the, the, this entire summer is really a write-off if you're looking for nice summer weather uh, it's kind of a down I, I know a downer I know but uh, this is what it is uh, the summer's a write-off we've had horrible weather almost all summer long uh, and uh, it's 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 just been uh, horrible for everybody involved um, so we're gonna go ahead and look at the temperatures and you'll see uh, that the, you'll see that cool down here when we look at the anomalies so you see we go into here and you see we start seeing the cooler temperatures spreading into the east but not that much below normal um, but you'll see some cooler temperatures spreading to the east but then the heat builds again so this this just goes on and on and on folks on and on and on <clears throat> so I'm gonna go look at the NAM and we're gonna go and we're gonna look at our local area because we gotta look at rain threats go to the zero Z I'm gonna use this just to look at the rain threats that we'll be dealing with. We won't be dealing with any rain today, uh, but when we go into Friday, you will see uh, the threat for rain getting closer to our area. Um, probably not until Friday night do we start seeing the rain. Uh, then a rain threat Saturday, and um, maybe it stays to the south of us Sunday. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell right now, uh, you know, what's going to happen uh, with that. Um, just want to look at the sky cloud fraction do we get rid of the clouds no we really don't we might even if we do get rid of the clouds that haze is going to be around from all the garbage being poured out of those fires out in the west so um it's not gonna really be any better with that i can look at the gfs uh, again i'm gonna move it back to the well we got enough of this i'll use this latest <clears throat> this latest run here you can see we're pretty much dealing with clouds, dealing with clouds, dealing with clouds. You know, <laughs> the nice summer weather that uh, I, I long for, uh, we're not getting this year. We are not getting this year. So that will conclude this weather update. Uh, it's just it's just very discouraging because I just miss nice summer days, low dew points, temperatures in the 70s, blue skies. Uh, the kind of day you want to be in the Pine Barrens, and um, we just haven't had weather like this. We haven't had weather like this, and it, it just, uh, you know, summer can be a very nice time to go walking in the Pine Barrens, and unfortunately, we're we're getting robbed of this, this weather. We're not getting our clear skies. We're not getting our low humidity. We're not getting our comfortable temperatures in the 70s. We're not getting any of that. Um, what we are getting is lots of uh, uh, pollution in our air, hazy skies, uh, just terrible conditions, uh, very discouraging conditions for people to deal with. Uh, and you know, you don't really feel like going outside when the sky is hazy, the air quality is poor, and you try you try to exert yourself. And let me tell you, it has an effect. You know, it has an effect on you when you're when all that crap is in the air uh, from all the fires burning. Uh, this is all due to climate change. You know, when I was younger. Um, we were saying a lot of people were saying in the future we'd have to wear gas masks and, and and masks to protect ourselves from the polluted air and look look at what's happening to our air quality so it's very disturbing and this is all once again due to climate change due to global warming uh and the lack of urgency from many people in our government is just absolutely ridiculous meanwhile uh we our skies are filled with smoke and uh we have millions of acres on fire and nobody seems worried. I just don't understand, but I'm going to keep here, keep coming here and telling you just how important of the uh, how, the, how important this climate emergency really is, because we are in a climate emergency. There is no two ways about it. We are in a, a climate emergency, and something needs to be done about it. We need to stop this global warming because we are going to destroy this planet and make ourselves extinct. That's it for this weather update.